Is Tim Sykes a fraud and a scam artist? David Jaffe with beststockstrategy.com and this is an introductory video because I have so much evidence in against Tim Sykes that I'm going to release it in kind of like a, uh, not necessarily a documentary, but in a series of videos. I'm probably gonna make about two or three videos on Tim Sykes. In my opinion, Tim Sykes is the biggest scam artist and the biggest fraud in the financial services education industry. Now again, this is my opinion. Everything that I say should be taken with a grain of salt and you should not take anything that I say as fact. Instead, I'm going to present you with evidence and then you can arrive at your own conclusion. So um, one of the major things, and I'm just going through some, a cursory, uh, some cursory evidence, and then I'm going to hop on a screen share with you in later videos and go through all of the evidence that I have. But a few things is that Tim Sykes, quote unquote, claims to have started a hedge fund, the cilantro hedge fund. When I looked up the documents that he filed with the SEC, he funded that hedge fund with only $250,000. Now, I don't know about you, but $250,000 will not even cover the legal fees that are necessary in order to open up a legitimate hedge fund. Additionally, it was, it was mentioned in those SEC documents, which I will link you to in an additional video, that Tim Sykes had to borrow money in order to fund and raise that incremental $250,000. Now, I don't know about you, but Generally speaking, if an individual is able to turn $12,000 into over a million dollars, like he claims, like he turned $12,000 of his bar mitzvah money into over a million, you are going to be able to fund your hedge fund with more than $250,000, of which I believe he borrowed a decent amount of that money. I am not sure how much of that money he borrowed, but if you've been able to turn $12,500 into over a million, you should have more liquidity to fund your hedge fund than $250,000. Additionally, if you've been able to have such enormous returns, then I would think you'd be incredibly excited and you'd be trying to pour every single cent that you have into a hedge fund because you believe that, hey, if you're able to turn $12,000 into a million, then you should be able to turn 1 million into 50 million. So I would think that if you're awash with cash and you have a few million dollars in liquid assets or at least over a million dollars in liquid assets, then you should be able to fund your hedge fund with a lot more than $250,000. And as I've said, from someone with an investment banking and a legitimate Wall Street background, not Tim Sykes, who has never worked at an investment bank in his entire life, or he's definitely not worked in anything from an institutional investment bank his entire life, $250,000 will not even cover the legal fees necessary and the setup fees necessary to start a legitimate hedge fund. The second thing is that um, his fund failed. I mean, it failed, it blew up. So I don't know why someone would invest their money and believe that they can make a substantial amount of money by trading penny stocks when he himself, anytime he was forced to file legitimate documents to the SEC that showed uh, performance and that showed profits, he was unable to do it. I believe that he only filed one document with the SEC. Now, I could be wrong on this, but I did a search and he never filed for F's or any of the other documents, I believe the only document that he filed with the SEC was the initial was the initial document to start it, and then I believe he also potentially filed the closing of the fund. But anytime he was required to file anything regarding performance or information, I do not believe he ever filed those documents. So again, where is the information that's actually documented? Where is the proof, the legitimate proof, that Tim Sykes has made any money from actually trading? The second thing is that there is no legitimate hedge fund that trades penny stocks. There is no legitimate hedge fund that makes money by trading, by trading penny stocks. Now I know Tim Sykes is gonna call me a hater because he loves to do that. He loves to criticize people who criticize him and say, oh, this person's just a hater. But the fact is that Tim Sykes uses predatory practices and in oftentimes resorts 
to, or at least his staff does, to actually lying to separate people from their money. And the fact is that I had a call with one of Tim Sykes people and on that call, which I'm going to share with you, Tim Sykes associates and employees specifically told me that Tim has audited financial returns and I have a recording of that call. He told me as a prospective student that Tim has audited results. So then they sent me information. I then called the accountant in Connecticut and I recorded that call as well and they told me that they had never heard of Tim Sykes. Additionally, the information that they sent me from the accountant was simply a compilation. It was not an audit. So again, I wanna be completely 100% clear because I have evidence of this. Tim Sykes employee told me that he has audited returns. He does not. Then when I brought it to this employee's attention that he lied to me and told me that he has audited returns, which he does not, the employee essentially just hung up the phone on me. If you look at tradingschools.org, you can see that Profitly and Investimonials have been debunked as quote unquote like fake review websites where Tim Sykes is supposed to uh, charge people to control the narrative on the reviews that, that are being left. Um, the other thing is there was this guy, Jonas, who uh, is apparently a student of Tim Sykes. And he told me on Instagram that he makes like thousand percent a month or 10,000 percent a year. And he told me this on Instagram and I'm going to show you the screen recordings of the, or rather the screenshots of this. And, um, yeah, the other thing is, you know, I, I think Tim Sykes is an amazing marketer. He went on the Steve Harvey show, he gives money to charity, but I think it's incredible that he is not a modern day Robin Hood. So in my opinion, Tim Sykes steals money from innocent people. And then he tries to redistribute this wealth, but he leverages the marketing and the positive brand image from his charities in order to provide the impression that he is a good person. In my opinion, Tim Sykes is the biggest scam and fraud in the financial services education space. Let me be clear. Tim Sykes, in my opinion, is the biggest scam, fraud, and just horrible sociopathic person in the entire education space. Now, I don't know why anyone would actually invest any money in this person. You're trading penny stocks, which are completely illiquid. Now, I know that he tells you that, oh, all of these, these companies are scams and that's why I short them. That is complete BS. This guy has never posted, in my opinion, in anything that I've actually come across, anything that's legit, that's actually legitimate. He has told me as a prospective student that he, not he, but his actual employee, has told me that he provides audited returns, which is a complete lie. I then called the, the accounting company in Connecticut. They said that they've never heard of them. Now, maybe they're potentially mistaken, but the information that was sent to me was a compilation, not an audit. Tim Sykes, I'm not 100% sure if he actually filed all the necessary documents with the SEC to file to start his fund, but if he did, he only funded it with $250,000 after he claimed to turn 12,000 into over a million. His fund blew up. The other thing is that Investimonials and Profitly have both been shown by other reporting outlets to be complete scams and frauds. That is what Emmett Moore from tradingschools.org claims, and he's done reviews on Profitly and Investimonials.com, and he essentially debunked these websites as providing fake reviews and pay for play where the person who's being, re being reviewed or the company that's being reviewed can pay Tim Sykes in order to modify and edit their reviews. So I, there, there are a bunch of other things. I'm gonna get into all of this. Um, the other thing is like Tim Sykes, I believe he's claimed that like cryptocurrency is a scam and then, then just like two years later, he's then going out and promoting cryptocurrency. I can just tell you that in general, if you try to trade penny stocks, the probability that you're going to be successful 
is close to 0%. The other thing is I've actually heard from a bunch of people who have taken Tim Sykes courses and it's like 5,000 videos of which I've been told that like all of them or close to all of them um, provide very little value. So in my opinion, what he does is he just tries to overwhelm you with information. And then when you have the inability to actually go through everything, then he points the finger at you and he blames you and says that it is your inability to understand everything because you didn't go through all of the homework. I mean, what kind of BS is that where he's essentially overwhelming you with like you have to study for a year and go through all these 5,000 videos and then you do all your, you do your best, but then you're still gonna lose money and then he's just gonna turn around and point it at you and say that it's your fault, that he has five, millionaire students and he's been on wall street warriors and he's been on the steve harvey show and his system is proven and when you lose money it is completely your fault because these millionaire students have been able to do it and it is your inability to study and it's your inability to you know to go through all the materials that is complete 100 percent bs in my opinion every single one of his millionaire students are also frauds i would love to actually get the, the trading statements from the brokerages which claim where he claims to have turned $12,000 into over a million. Because in my opinion, I believe that he is the biggest fraud in the financial services and in the trading education space. And I would love to go through the discovery process and get my hands on those documents. If you have any question, leave a comment below. Please also leave a comment and let me know whether you believe Tim Sykes is legitimate or whether he's a fraud, and I appreciate your attention.